Welcome to my channel. I am back for part 2 of how to need a photo slot. If you want to learn how to make the armature, I will make sure to put links in the description box. I use single needle, punch tool, brown and black wool, brown and white core wool. I started with wrapping the legs with small amounts of wool because it's always easier to add more once it's felted it's difficult to remove so less is more. When I felt very closely to the wire I am very careful not to break my needle. Also I made sure to wrap the strings of wool as tight as possible but not tearing the wool. I used those two steps to finish the legs and when they are ready I made a quick wrap around the body.
for building the chest, I used a technique I learned from Sarah Rinzoli. I hope I pronounced her name right. I will definitely leave a link to her channel in the description box so that you can see her amazing work. I began by placing the wool over the shoulder, under the armpit, over the back, under the opposite armpit, and over the shoulder. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> um, by this you form a next shape, and this is how both sides are even. At this point I made a basic wrap around the head, Again, make sure to be as tight as possible. Throughout the process, I repeat this technique several times to build up the muscles there. It's time to build up the ties. For this, I again use an X shape motion so that the wool is building nicely and gradually and it's easier to plant. And felt that in place. In the same way I did the front ties, I did the back legs as well and fold them.
To build up the upper thighs even more, I created two triangles with the punch tool with a fringe at the end so it's easier to blend to the rest of the body. Next, we'll be building the shape for the belly. At first, my first attempt, I didn't like it, so I scrunched a lot of wool and felt it around on a piece of wool so that I create volume, which then I felt it around the slot and blended away. I made another two triangular shapes for the front eyes with this little fringe and blend them out. Then I decided that I didn't like the back ties that much, so I made another two triangular shapes and felt them down. Do you remember that I told you that I will divide those videos in two parts? Well, there is going to be a third part. Three is a lucky number, right? <laughs> so stay tuned for the third part where we are going to do the face and final details. It's my favorite part, so I'm really excited.
then i decided to make the belly a little bit white so i took a little bit from the main color which is brown and a little bit of white blended two colors together by pulling several times until it's nicely blended and i fold it on the belly again use small amounts of wool because it's easier to add than to remove thank you so much for watching the video please like it if you enjoyed it and see you in the next one bye bye